Okay, in this Adobe Premiere Creative Cloud tutorial, I want to talk to you about speed changes with your clips. If you want to do slow motion or if you want to reverse the clip, it's, it's pretty simple actually. Now I'm going to go down to my project window and I'm going to import in the clip that I want to use. I'm going to go to my drive and I'm going to go to my source material, H.264. And then here is the shot of the fire eater and I'm going to import this particular clip. Now there's a couple ways that we could do this. If we take the clip and we drag and drop it on the timeline, if it doesn't match, Premiere should ask us if we want to create or adjust our sequence settings to the clip. I'm going to let go of the clip and look here, clip mismatch warning. This clip does not match the sequence settings. Change the sequence to match the clip settings or keep existing settings. I actually want to change the sequence settings to match the clip click OK. So now it's adjusted the sequence settings to match what's happening with our clip. If I go up here and click on sequence and I go to sequence settings, I can see right here, look, Premiere went ahead and adjusted the timeline to match the frame rate of the clip. And if we're going to do slow motion, the more frames per second that we have, the smoother that our slow motion is going to be. So it being close to 60 frames per second should actually give us a really nice slow-mo. So I'm going to click OK. So now if I click down here on the timeline and I press the plus key on the keyboard, this is going to zoom in. And I'm just going to kind of scrub through the clip to take a look at it. Now it's actually really simple to change the speed of a clip inside of Adobe Premiere. If I right click on the clip and I go to speed and duration, this is where I can perform my speed change. So right now, notice that it's at 100% speed. If I want the clip to say play at half speed, I would type in 50 and click OK. Notice that it doubled the duration of the clip. It was around four seconds and now it's going to be eight seconds. So I'll click OK and notice that the clip actually got longer. I'll go ahead and play it back. And we haven't rendered the clip yet, but you can see the slow motion. All right, so I'll go ahead and zoom out. And I'll right click on the clip again. I'll go back to speed and duration. If I want to go even slower, I could say type in 20%. Notice the duration of the clip now is 21 seconds. I'll click OK. Notice how the clip gets longer. So if you're going to do a slow motion, you need to allow more time on your timeline. It's physics. If we slow something down, it's going to get longer, whether it's audio or picture. So here we go. I'm going to play this back. And you can see it's you know really slow now. And it's still doing a pretty good job. And once again, we haven't rendered this clip yet. Notice the red bar above the clip means that it's not rendered. So I'm going to press Enter to render the clip. And it looks like we have 1,270 frames to render. So once this is finished rendering, I'll come back to you. Okay, we can see the green line above the clip indicating that it has been rendered. So we're actually looking at the rendered file right now, and this is at 20% speed. And this is a pretty smooth slow motion. All right, so I'll right click again on the clip, and I'll go back to speed and duration. So right now there's at 20%. So if I want to go back to normal speed, I would type in 100. Notice that it brings us back to the original duration of the clip. I'll right click again, go back to speed and duration. I'll put in something crazy like 5%. Click OK. I'll zoom out. Notice that I lost my render though. I'll have to re-render again if I want to watch this in high quality. The cool thing about Premiere is if your computer is fast enough, I should be able to play this back and still get an idea of how it's going to look. So you can see at 5% speed that our slow motion is pretty choppy. It's a pretty choppy slow motion at 5%. So you're going to have to experiment with different percentages to get the look that you're going for. So now if I were to render this particular clip, it would take a while. We don't want to sit through that, but it would probably be a little bit smoother than what it's playing right now. Also, if you notice right here in the clip name, the 5%, 
that's letting us know that this clip is now playing at 5% speed. So I'll right click on the clip. I'm going to go back to speed and duration. And I'm going to go back to my 50% mark because I feel that that's a good range right there. That's going to give us a pretty good slow motion. All right, so that concludes this tutorial in Adobe Premiere on slow motion.